I'm Dr. Ray Middleton. I help people by delivering great training. Here's an example episode from one of my training courses explaining the Power Threat Meaning Framework. I'm a member of the Power Threat Meaning Framework Committee and these materials were developed in conjunction with the committee. Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Middleton and in this training I'm going to introduce, explain and explore the Power Threat Meaning Framework. The framework was developed by a group of senior psychologists and service users, survivors, and experts by experience, led by Lucy Johnston and Mary Boyle, who have published a book explaining the topic, a straight-talking introduction to the Power Threat Meaning Framework. This framework is for everyone, not just people who have had a mental health diagnosis like myself or uh, people who have experienced trauma. It's for everybody. The framework argues it can help to change and develop our personal story, our personal narrative understanding of ourselves, in light of our answers to five questions, which are what are our strengths, including thinking about what access to powerful resources we have. The next question is what has, has happened to us in terms of how power has operated in our life. The next question is how did what happened affect us in terms of the kinds of threats it made to getting our needs met. Then we ask the question, what threat responses are we using? What did we have to do in order to survive? Any habits of thinking, feeling and our behaviour, our actions formed to survive threats are called threat responses. The framework also asks, what sense or meaning did we make of these experiences and situations that we found ourselves in? We can change the sense or meaning we make of our experiences over time. We all make sense of our life within our personal story and it is possible to develop and change our personal narrative in small or sometimes big ways, more dramatic ways. Changing our personal narrative can change the direction of our life journey. A basic idea of the framework is to integrate the answers to these questions into adjusting and developing our personal life story. We could do this ourselves or we may be supporting someone else to answer these questions. It would help to know in more depth then what the questions are aiming to explore. So I am going to explain this in the training. These framework questions can also be used to help develop narratives for a community of people or a family group, as well as for individual personal life stories. This framework is an alternative to the dominant medical science model of distress, which often involves diagnosis of mental health disorders or mental illnesses. The key difference between the biological medical perspective story of distress and alternative narrative explanations is that the medical perspective story claims that our distress is caused by an underlying illness or disorder. The alternatives to medicalizing distress, like the framework, explain that our distress is an understandable and meaningful reaction to what is going on in our life and our wider society around us. Seeing and comparing different narrative explanations like this connects with the idea of how narratives can both shape and limit how we think, feel and behave. The stories we believe about ourselves shape and limit our options and they influence and they form and they limit, but they enable as well, what we feel able to do in life. So if we think we're sick or ill, we will respond differently than if we think we're having an understandable response to what is going in our, on in our life and our social world around us. So the narrative we believe shapes our thoughts and feelings and our actions. We will react and respond differently depending on the explanation of distress that we believe. The power threat meaning framework emphasizes that experiences and expressions of emotional distress are enabled and mediated by, but not in any direct sense caused by, our bodies and our biology. We're biological, physical beings. Humans are embodied social beings whose experiences of distress, troubling thoughts and troubled or, or troubling behavior are inseparable, aren't they, from our material social, environmental, socio-economic and cultural contexts.
It's a holistic approach. Next, I will explain what each part of the framework means in turn, in short episodes, to make it clear what each question is and each part of the framework means. I'm going to start by explaining what we mean by our personal narrative or our personal story. I hope you found that helpful. For more information about the live and recorded training I offer, just email me at ray.middleton at ladderforlife.com and sign up for my free trauma informed course by clicking the link in the description comments. Subscribe for more helpful videos and post a question in the comments and I'll reply.